Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to create on-site payments and picking with Odoo 16. On-site payments and picking with Odoo 16 website is a feature that allows the customers to pay for their online orders in person at a store. This can be a convenient option for the customers who want to avoid paying for their orders online or who do not have a credit card. Online site payment and picking is a great way to offer your customers a convenient and flexible way to pay for their online orders. It can also help to reduce your shipping cost as well as uh, as you will no longer need to ship orders to the customer who choose to pick them from the store. Suppose a customer is browsing the website of a local store and they find a product they want to buy but they do not want to pay for shipping. They say that the store offers on-site payment and picking. So, they select the option at the checkout. The customer chooses the closest pickup location, heads there. And the customer arrives at the pickup location. The employee retrieves the customer's order and the customer pays for it in person. And it's convenient for customers also because they can pick their orders at any time that is convenient for them and they do not need to worry about the ship cost and the customers appreciate the convenience of being able to pick up their orders in store which can lead to increase the customer satisfaction. So let's get into the website module. To avail the on-site payments and picking, first you need to enable on-site and picking from the configuration settings. So let's get into the configuration settings and let me drag down. So under the shipping methods, you would be able to find the option on-site payments and picking. This would allow the customers to pay in person at your store. So we can see the picking site that is selected. Now you can also customize your picking site from the configuration settings or under the configuration menu, you can see shipping methods. So here we can see all the shipping methods and let's choose the shipping method that we want. Now here you can see the name of the shipping method is given as on-site pick and here uh, it's restricted for a particular uh, website and here you can also see the provider is set up in store. So if you want to install, I mean pick up in the store, if you want to uh, install more providers you can just click on here. So this would allow you to install more providers. So here we can see the providers that are currently uh, in Odoo and uh, you can also set a, put, a particular warehouse for the pick and uh, here you can see the integration level. We can set the integration level as get rate and um, yeah get rate uh, and create shipment. So um, we can take an action while validating the orders which means uh, we can uh, get it at, at a rate uh, or we can get rate at the uh, and create shipment. Now we can set the delivery product as on-site shipping. Sorry, on-site picking. So when you get into the internal link, you, here you have to set the product type as service and the invoicing policy as prepaid or fixed price. And you do not need to set the cost or sales price. And we can make invoicing policy on two choices that is estimated cost and real cost. If you're choosing the invoicing policy as estimated cost, then the invoice will be generated based on the estimated cost. Otherwise, it will be generated on real cost. Now here you can also set uh, a margin on rate. This will be added to the shipping charge and you can also set a free of, I mean free if order amount is above. So if you're setting the amount as 100, then above 100 when a customer places an order, then he will be getting um, a free uh, shipping okay which means that the shipping will be excluded now here we can also set a destination availability which means uh, filling this form allow you to filter the delivery carrier which means that we can set the uh, nearby locations of the store so let me um, set a country state and zip code these are not mandatory so if you want to uh, set that you can set and under the description, you can also provide the description that will be displayed on the e-commerce or online quotations. And you can also provide the shipping method details that will be included in the sales order um, and the confirmation emails. Like we can uh, tell uh, or give the instruction for the customers that to follow. Now we also need to ensure that 
we have given the proper payment providers so under the uh, yeah settings uh, we also need to ensure that we have uh, provided the proper payment provider so here you can see the currently uh, th these are the default uh, providers in Odoo and you have to choose pay in store when picking the product here we can set uh, the state uh, of the payment provider as enables and you can see it is restricted for a particular company and website under the configuration tab you can also give the payment form like you can also set displayed as so that the name uh, of the provider will be displayed here if you're setting this field as a uh, null then uh, it won't be defined now if you want to uh, scan a QR and make payment you can just enable the QR codes but this is only applicable in wire transfers and uh, here we are making communications that based on the document reference which means uh, yeah we are making the payments based on the order of the customers and we can also set a maximum amount uh, so this uh, will be available for the providers and if you want to uh, restrict this for a particular com country you can do so now we have message tab under the message tab we can give the message that is uh, like that to be uh, displayed once the checkout process uh, and payment is completed so here i'm providing as your order has been saved please come to the store to pay for your product so once you are about to pay and uh, and process with the payment you will be getting this message in the window now let's make an order for that let's go to the shop and order something so you can choose the shop and let me choose a product as customizable desk with one quantity as you uh, choose a product you can proceed to checkout and here we can process the checkout right now here we can see choose a delivery method so you need to choose a delivery method as on-site pick and you also need to set pay with pay in store when picking the uh, product now just click on pay now so this would let you to um, make the payment so that's all about the topic hope this concept is clear for you thank you for watching